So, Honorable Minister of uh, Education, Senator Hadija, Chairman of the Board of uh, Green Hills Academy, Green Hills Head of School, Principals and Deans, members of uh, the faculty and staff, dear parents, students and alumni, good afternoon. Thank you for having me here to celebrate you in the Hichirwa, graduating students. Green Hills Academy has given us 20 co cohorts of talented, ambitious, and hardworking graduates thus far. To have our pride, joy, and uh, optimism boosted once more, as they have been uh, every year for the past two decades, is indeed a wonderful sentiment, but foremost, congratulations are in order. Dear graduates, give yourself a highly deserved pat on your backs. I'm confident that uh, for you all, this is one of many successes to come. You've completed one of the most comprehensive secondary school courses offered in the country and in the region. You've been blessed with exposure to a number of uh, cultures and background, and the wealth that, is, uh, that this exposure has nurtured in you will enable you to thrive anywhere in the world. Whatever your bright future takes you, remember to use every skill you've been granted to make the world around you better, starting with communities. Students of Green Hills Academy, this community here has seen firsthand how impactful you've been when involved in its wellness. I commend you for, for being great beyond solving complex equations or drafting essays or excelling at sports in your time here. Your efforts have uh, paid the school fees of uh, Rotunga school students that we've uh, seen uh, uh, in front of us here, arguably improved their life. You've helped to keep our environment clean as you diligently partook in our Umuganda. And the GHA ritual for which you've carried the mantle this year is a testament to Rwandan and African foundation of cohabitation. What is for the community must be achieved by the community itself. Well, wealth will help you work, compassion and siblinghood are the wings that will grant you flight. So whether Rwanda, whether Rwanda is, you, is to you a native home or a second home, do not stop watering its garden. Green Hills 20th graduating cohort. The fact that your class, which is made up of uh, 17 nationalities, is celebrating dozens of admissions to top universities across the world, speaks for your identity as global citizens. But the world is a big place, and you will now be experiencing it differently. In closing the enchanting chapter of uh, Carefree Childhood, and engaging on the adventure of adulthood. And demanding this adulthood can be even in youth. You have come to crosswords where celebration will be used in case of successes, and shame and guilt will be too in case of failure and misbehavior. The courts of public opinion will begin to observe your actions as your, as your own and no longer attribute them to the choices of your parents. Sooner than you think, you'll be the decision makers and opinion leaders like the long line of high achievers that uh, once sat where you see today in their graduating gowns and now stand at the, f at the forefront of our development. You may perhaps eventually also become parents yourself, no pressure. Mike is already one of them. This is a defining time for you in terms of your choices. You are never too young to make the right choice, for these choices are seeds that will sprout throughout the rest of your lives. 
I found that three reminders can make decision making easier in testing, trying, or tempting times. The first is that in the long run, only hard work and smart work pay off. In the end, talent or privilege pay in worth compared to that of dedication and discipline. The second is that distance is owed to all of us, but respect is earned through moral and uh, ethical choices, through consideration for one another, through vision and positive ambition. It's up to you. It's up to you and no one else to become a person worthy of respect. I urge you to act every day as if you wouldn't mind the world watching and judging your actions. Who knows? One day it might. One, one, uh, on that day, your admirable character will not only speak volumes about yourself as an individual, but also serve as a praise of your upbringing and schooling. And finally, the third tenet is that you must always remember that tomorrow is not promised. It's built brick by brick. You are the architect of your fate. You are the author to your story. Let us read as we watch you, as we watch you thrive, a story of success. Every day beyond this one, I urge you all cherish GHA 23 cohort to make us, through your good judgment, through your ambition, through your hard work, as proud as you've ever wanted us today. To the educators, yours is one of the most precious gifts. You build ladders for our children to climb as they soar to, to new heights, carrying with them the dreams of their parents and those before them those who fought to see them thrive. To our top performers, we admire your brilliance and resolve and hope you remain aware that we have been rooting to you at every turn. Do not forget how devoted your teachers, your parents, and your communities have been to getting you where you are. I wish to extend, to extend my sincere gratitude for your commitment all education stakeholders or the friends that believed in the GHA mission to provide world accredited first class education here at the heart of our hilly capital. Know that our next generations of skilled, creative, innovative young Rwandans and all those who found a home in Rwanda will be a victory too. And finally, dear parents, the young graduates you have raised so graciously, gracefully, now embody the ultimate pride of a nation. You have truly done us all a service. I applaud you. This country values you, and please do give yourself a pat on the back as well. Thank you all for your work. Thank you for having me here and uh, happy graduation.